rains have started setting in as usual. Some flood prone areas will be affected. I'm currently at Alajo, which is also a flood prone area, and I'm going to be speaking to some residents. The flood entered my mom's kitchen. Yeah. So we had to rush over to pick the items over the cooking utensils and stuff. We had to carry it upstairs, take it to the next room where by the water only get there. Okay. Yeah. So has it always been the trend? Um not really. Um, you know, the gutter is choked. I mean the big gutter is choked. So whenever it rains about two hours or more then it starts flooding. But when it rains about five hours to six hours, that's when it floods all over. Okay. Yeah, but when it's intense, about an hour and a half to two, we get petty, petty um, floods like this. It floods this way. Yeah. So now that the rains are setting in, what are you putting in place? Um, what we've put in place currently is um, today, for instance, we plan off um, the gutters, the choke sites. You have to remove all the rubbers and stuff that are in it okay and then more about the place that the water do pass before entering my mom's kitchen if i really try to cement that place today we already put in place there sand we have yet to buy the cement and then fix that place so that maybe today or tomorrow if it rains again we will see whether it will still come around or not yeah this is the back of the kitchen so when the water is when it's flooded outside there okay it passes through here so yesterday we had to chisel over there because there were some sands and then rubbers that was blocking the way for the water to pass. So we have to chisel that place so that it can be able to pass through. Yeah. So today we will chisel from here to the end. Remove all the uh, flaps. The gates. Yes, we open the gates. Remove all the flaps and then make sure that we remove all the rubbers that are blocking the way. Okay. Yeah. Does it, does it lead to a different house? It leads to a different house. So it starts from the top to the main road. So have you... Uh, com uh, communicated, like, have you spoken with the people that this is what you're going to do? Yes, we've already told them, and then they said you also do this. So when they are done with it, then we also follow up to the end. Then the next house behind us will also do it. Were you affected by yesterday's rains, yeah, like Saturday? Yeah, affected. It, uh, was, which it came up to the level of the door. Uh, uh, up to this level. Up to this or this level. Okay. Or lower. Uh, so do you have it? To this man's room, this man's room, and then, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, and all this area. Okay, I can see the markings yeah. on the wall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see the markings on the wall. So do you have a gutter here? Uh, no, not uh, probably proper gutter. Okay. Uh, we just put a pipe to outside. So what measures are you putting in place just in case it rains again? Like, looking at this few days, um, you got the level to the side. So the rains are now setting in. Yeah. So what measures are you putting in place to prevent um, the flooding? I think uh, we, we can they should put a, a gutter behind our house to the main drain. Okay. And there's a there's a, a big space at the back of the this building. Okay. And if it can take the drain all over to the gutter. Okay. And because these are the areas that are sloping areas okay. to the gutter. Okay. Where the drain is is not sloping. So now for instance, uh, you said this place got flooded yesterday. Yeah. Do you scoop the water out or what do you do? Uh, we scoop the water out. Through which side? Through that got small gutter. There's a small gutter around. Uh, there, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, a little. You know, like the June 3rd one. Okay. Yeah, it was like when, you know, our channel to the main gutter is very narrow. And it passes through about uh, two houses before it gets to the gutter. Okay. And when you look at our house, it's down. So when the gutter is full, then the water, instead of water from the yard here going out, then it starts coming inside. And because of the other two houses too, the channel sometimes, there are debris that fall in. And because of that, it chokes. So when we're not able to remove any little rain, then we suffer it. Yeah. Right now that um, your room got flooded like yesterday, what are you putting in place? Oh, really? We are trying to see how we can, if we get a place, because this is not our house, we are renting it. So if God permits things get better, then we need to move to another place. But for now in the room, we try to make some cells. When you are going to work, and then you put your TV and everything on top of them, in case there's nobody in the house. Okay. Yeah, so, and yeah, it's not really easy, but what for do in the city. 
Well, so we have um, uh, the, the issue to start our discussion with, and I have Abu Ramadan, and we all know him, uh, former uh, youth leader for the PNC. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And uh, currently yeah. headlining all the top issues as far as the Electoral Commission is concerned. He wants to go back to a court, and I had him, you know, to <laughs> say he's going to cite well, alongside his lawyers uh, all the seven commissioners for, what did you say, contempt? Yep. All right. Yep. All right, and then also Kwame Agboja. He's a member of parliament for Daklu. Thanks for joining me. Uh, can yeah. I call you Kwame? Yes, Kwame is fine. That's great. Yes, yes, at yes. least yeah. it gets us closer. Yeah, forget about honorable. Just Kwame oh, is fine. Oh, honorable. <laughs> I, I still have to add that. Honorable Kwame. No, 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 no. I, hope, <laughs> I hope you didn't use self insurance to register. Uh, like this colleague I met this morning. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about that. But let's talk about the rains. But <laughs> yeah. the, the rains are here. And yeah. uh, we should be worried about well, first of all, I want to use the opportunity to, uh, I mean, uh, sympathize with my colleague, uh, Ms. Wiafi Pepera, who uh, we got uh, the news of his passing over the weekend, uh, just to say, uh, made a, a good lot, consoled the uh, family. And uh, I think uh, tomorrow, when we meet in the house, uh, the house will decide uh, the way forward. So, uh, big sympathy to him and Parliament and his party and the country as a whole. While the rains are here, um, I think there's uh, nothing new. We are part of a, a solution and part of a problem. Um, I still think we as citizens need to do certain things. I mean, we can still see people when it's raining, come out of their houses, dump solid waste in, in the gutter with the hope that it will take it somewhere. Um, I have seen people still flouting planning permissions. And I, I don't exactly know why people think that government can do magic and all this will be solved. I mean, the big drains are being desilted every day. We can all see it. But when I dump uh, the rubbish in front of the gutter in front of my house, I wonder what, I mean, should the, gov should the police arrest me? Yeah. Is, that, is that the way forward? Should the local government uh, authorities arrest me? I think if we want, all want a solution, we can get a solution. If we all want to be part of uh, the problem and uh, at, the, at the moment I just sympathize a lot with those who are victims because you see somebody's uh, uh, incompetence or uh, I mean uh, misbehavior up the, 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 where the source of the, the water river mm. can or the, the, the descent can, can bring havoc uh, to somebody why? an innocent person so in, the, in those they do, uh, we sympathize with them but uh, I think we need to do more the public education and citizens must also understand there's a role we can play without that I, 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 there's not much. Yeah. The same applies to field and everything. And, and we, we, uh, we, we dissolved the drains, but it rains, and so you see a collection of plastic bottles, uh, etc., uh, from wherever. And then uh, it's as if we've done nothing, cause 90. <laughs> Good morning to your viewers. Um, uh, <laughs> I believe the resulting process, if you ask me, I see it as if it's a money making venture for individuals rather mm. than. Uh, 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 a check measure to prevent flooding so that water can... Why do I say that? Because people are contracted to, to the silt gutters. And when they desilt, they only desilt and pour the, the, the sand just by the gutter and leave it there. As far as I, know, I, think, I think they are cutted away. Oh, no, no, no not, not all. Not in all areas. Hoping that the cars will pass over them and uh, ramp it and convert it into part of the roads again just for the rains to come back and wash it down. But, but I agree with Honorable when he says, we also have a role to play as, as citizens to make sure we keep our surroundings clean. But as much as that, that is the case, what is government's role in terms of making sure that we don't get floodings? First and foremost, town and country planning, I don't know what they are doing. Because you don't sit down and allow people to build in waterways. Or you don't sit down and allow to people to build without making sure that the provision for gutters have been made. But because I, I don't know, it's only in Africa or Ghana, where when you are building, a, a new site can be commissioned for people. One will go and buy the site, and maybe 100 acres or 200 acres. Then you will start selling without making provision for road network, for gutter, to that, for the drains, that would wash water down. And I'm sure that is done with uh, town and country. And I don't know what they do. Because if town and country will be up and doing, government will sit up on them and say, get up and, and make sure the right thing is done. And we are able to insist that the, the, the roads that are demarcated, the gutters that are demarcated are constructed, and make sure that the drains are channeled so that we know that all the water in Accra all comes together and runs through the Odor River and exits in the sea. We know that that is the exit point. 
And when we do that, I think with proper planning, we'll see the end to this. But as much as it is the case, the question you ask yourself is, and by God's grace, I'm, I'm confident that Wednesday or Thursday, AFA would, would hold a press conference on, on, on the current issue. Because there are questions we want to ask. What is happening to the Odo dredging project? Ibrahim Mama and when he started the project, where, where did he get to? What has he, where, where, where have we got into? What is happening with the entire dredging exercise? And other questions that have come up. Some contracts, some and all of that. All that questions, a lot of questions have come up that we need to interrogate. So, and, and so you're saying you may interrogate that on Thursday. But yeah. at the end of the period, I know that will be for you to do on Wednesday mm -hmm. or on Thursday. But at the end of the period is also the fact that um, you go to countries, they have water collection points, and if you ask those who are great marine and dredging engineers, they'll tell you the collection points in the city have now been given out to real estate uh, people to build, build high-rise buildings, mm. they, they've walled them, fortified them, now the water has to bypass and get to areas which uh, needlessly were not meant for those purposes. And, and Roland, you see, that's why I say town and country planning, I don't know what they're doing. Because we should be able to educate our people properly. If, if you, are, you are building and you are going for permits, and you are granted permits, somebody will build a house on a two plot of land. Because he has money, will buy tiles and tile the entire compound. So when the rains come, it, it, it dumps onto the, onto the ground and runs out with speed and goes onto the road, a road system where there is no, there is no gutter to collect the water and carry along to the bigger to the bigger river or, or, or the stream to carry it away. So I'm saying we need more education. We need, and that is where the responsibility of government comes in. Government needs to make sure that the institutions of states are working. Government agencies are working properly. And we, are, and we should put in, I don't know why, local government ministry, some time back, the, the discussion of bringing back this tank, the tank council system, where we used to have in the past. I remember when we were kids. In the morning, you have to wake up on Saturday morning and clean the compound, sparkling clean because Town council officers will come around, and at that time we call them tankers. They'll come around and inspect. And if they, if they find somewhere dirty, they, they'll find you. At that time, we didn't have pumpers in, 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 in abundance. So even the, the pool of children, when you put it anywhere carelessly, and they, and they catch you, they find, they give you. So at that time, there was some level of uh, cleanliness we had, but that system collapsed. I think we can revive such institutions to help check the sanitation situation of our country. If we can't do it by the state, we should, PPP can, can arrange that. Government private part, uh, public partnership with strong laws to, to back it. And I think we, we'll get somewhere. We'll get somewhere. Almost like an engineer on town in country <laughs> planning this morning. But now let's wrap up our discussions on the subject of the flood. Uh, because we're now even coming up with a lot more communities and the linkages, the subject of the needed structures, so that we don't tend to see um, a recurrence of this. Building communities, even in low lying uh, plains which we're not even taking cognizance of. Well, I'm sure when you go around this town, you will see many buildings with produce permit on them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure town and country planning will love to have a big bulldozer and remove every building that hasn't been. But guess what? We'll come back here and say that, put a human face on it. You see, in one vein, I, in parliament, I ask myself, whenever we're making laws, let's, 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 let's ask ourselves, do you want these laws implemented? Because in one vein, we pass laws and know that People needed to adhere to the law. Yet when they when they go wrong, we say put human face on it. I I am sure town and country planning people say that if they are given the the, the 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 mandate, the number of buildings that can go down today in this town because they were put up at, on the blind side of 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 of, of 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 the committee. But guess my brother and I will come back here and say that oh we should have that somebody wow. spend money and other things. Is is it and it's, there's something in this country, and it's a mindset. People think that, for instance, if I have land and I decide to maybe travel for uh, one year and come back and you come and build on it, well, why didn't you build on it initially and I finished building and then you are talking about it? The same thing applies to uh, town and country planning. People go and start illegal structures and say that, where were you when I, when I started? Hold on. For instance, if you marry and you leave your wife and you go to the, uh, you, you travel, does that mean that it's free for somebody? You don't expect it to be like that. So why is it that people always keep asking this question? Where were you when I started the building? No, when you do something illegal, it doesn't matter whether that you, you were caught in the beginning or you were caught at the end. It's illegal. Okay. Point Honorable, you see, uh, uh, Roland, it is difficult in other parts of the world for you to even start the process, let alone allow you to complete, yeah. for us to now have a dilemma or have a headache mm. in the, pulling it down. 
That's what I'm saying. Arab, you said no. in England, in your yeah. own house, yeah. you can't remove your own window. If you no, I can't remove the tree in front of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You, you have to go and tell the council. Yes. And, and guess what? The same, it's, it's just a mindset. No, no, no. When, when Honorable, Ghanaians, it's I, not about mindset. I'm saying that. It is a mindset. No, no, Honorable, listen. I'm yeah. saying that. If the institutions what? of state are working properly, yeah. and they, they do their jobs well, they should allow you to even finish your footing of the foundation. Do you know why? Before they stop. Do you know why I say it's But they'll sit down and fold their arms. No. And wait, I know, I, look, I, in Amasaman today, I know a guy who the road has been demarcated for a highway to connect through Amasama <laughs> into Kaswa. And this guy, out of impudence, has taken one plot on the road, on the highway. Because the road has not been developed, he's built a beer bar there. The, the AMA, uh, AMA, Amasama Metropolitan people have, have been there the first time. They attempted demolition. He waited after two months. He's gone back, put the structure. Now they put stop work, and now the guy is operating the bank. Mm. So such impunity. <laughs> if the institutions of state were really working, they shouldn't mm. even allow him to have even finished the foundation of that structure. Yeah. Let alone to do you live in that it. community? No, I, I have a property in that. Ah, community. Okay. Now, I should yeah. tell you the metropoli the metropolitan area you mentioned is called yeah. the Gun West Gun West, municipal okay. Municipal. Gun West Municipal. So. It is a problem when you allow the impunity to. to, to I want continue. you to know so that next time when you have a problem with your permit, you can go there. <laughs> <laughs> but let's look at this. Uh, I heard you say you were going to court. You were screaming on many of the stations that you're going to court over. I know this has been dealt with mm -hmm. adequately over the weekend. But since you're here, I want to ask you when do you intend going to court and on what, what will be the relief you'll be seeking? Uh, <laughs> I will be going to court, hopefully, if the president decides to pay judicial service workers so that they can go back uh right now you're on strike they're on strike i'm not part of the judicial service workers <laughs> the workers but, are on strike. but we're talking about your court yes so 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 as long as i know the issues favor the president then i'm sure that judicial service workers will be on strike for a while because <laughs> i'm not sure it's in his interest to see us back in court over this matter but i'll beg him you, the, mean, you mean the president come again the president i didn't miss this i was to, I, I was referring to him what has EC got to do with the president? You have a problem with that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I okay, thought, let's I go thought, on. Yeah. Gentlemen, let's go on. <coughs> so, I'm so, so what will, so what, 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 what will you be? I'm waiting. Now, I'm sure between now and Wednesday, we'll finish all processes, all documentations we'll put together. Just to, we'll be waiting for judicial service workers to resume. And I'm hoping the president will do that very soon so that he can pay them off some of their monies instead of rather rechanneling the resources into other areas that are necessary. Let us give the judicial service an attention so that we can pay them their part of their money so that they can resume them and can file the case. If they resume today, tomorrow morning we'll be filing the suit. Mm. If they resume today, tomorrow morning we'll be filing the suit. I heard you say the 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 panel or the deputy commissioners. All, the commis all seven commissioners. All of commissioners the of, uh, of the electoral commission mm -hmm. were in contempt. Or all, all seven of them. The awesome. decision was not taken by Charlotte to say hello. She asked on so behalf of the So you're saying they were in contempt based on what? Ba based on the fact that, first and foremost, if you, if you read the ruling, the, the, I think the initial first or second page of the ruling, the, the judges of the Supreme Court make reference to the fact that refusal to, to implement the orders of the court amounts to high crime. And for that matter, the, I'm not close to the power to criminally prosecute anybody. Neither is my lawyer, Nana Santibedi, to close with that power. The power resides with the Attorney General Minister of Justice. And being a member of government and a member of the NDC, I know certainly that's, that, that won't happen. That will certainly not happen. So, so we are taking them before the court to tell the court that these individuals are in contempt of the court. They have refused to implement the orders of the court. And the clear orders that the court had given, that one, go delete names of persons from the voters register. And make sure that the, the register is clean immediately. Two, those who delete their names, allow, afford them the opportunity to re-register. And make sure that the register is, is in consonance with the Constitution and all other laws governing our elections. These are straightforward orders of the court. And the court in the ruling before the orders made reference to the health insurance, the, the, the registered people with the health insurance. And the court admits that, yes, it will be wrong for me to say uh, you use health insurance to register. But at that time, you registered it was legal. But because you use it to register, now it's no more legal. We are deleting your name of the register and not giving you the opportunity to register. As are the constitutional. But the fact that it's no, not constitutional now, it also doesn't mean that we should leave your name on the register too as well. So that's why the court said delete and afford the opportunity for re-registration again. Then the court went on to even talk about minors 
which was even part of my case. The court said minus is also a problem. The court said dead people. But if the electoral commission says by the orders of the court, it doesn't find any, any letter or any word that makes reference to health insurance card holders. Then I asked the electoral commission, first and foremost, the, the, the orders that made reference to minors and the dead people, are we opening a police station at the cemetery to re-register dead people whose names are on the register? Certainly not. Are we going back to give the minors, those who were, were not 18, who have violated the laws of this country, who in uh, CI 91 will be found guilty and be suspended for five years from bearing any card of the commission and be their right to vote being withdrawn for five years? Are we giving those people the opportunity to re-register them? Is that what we are saying? So which people were the court referring to? And I'm surprised. Madam Charlotte Jose herself is a lawyer. The, the, the deputy, what she called, Georgina Upoko Actually, there are, actually she, there are four lawyers on, 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 on uh, Precisely. So they should even know better. They should know better. I'm not a student of law even. But I, on this matter, I think I can authoritatively, the way they are interpreting the law, I can lecture them on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the ruling of the court. I can give them proper lecture and understanding of what the court was w wanted to say or what the court is saying per, per that ruling. Well, the argument is that it's your understanding. And the argument is that it's his, their understanding of what the ruling uh, was. Well, uh, first of all, uh, I think we live in a democratic country. Anybody have got the right to seek redress in court. I think he's making a career out of the, the thing and he's enjoying it. And that's, oh. that's appropriate, uh, oh. uh, uh, the whole thing. That's not fair comment. That's a very unfair comment. Oh, me. I mean, you every day, you, I mean, let's face no, it. That's a very unfair comment. That you're making a career out yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, every day you have an issue with it. And there's, not, that's not, there's nothing wrong with the it. The right thing must be done. I'm, yeah, fine. That's see, what I'm saying. All right, gentlemen, let's Whether move on. Whether it's done or not. And you see, I think that you are you are, you are uh, you are becoming a bit... Uh, too much, yeah. Uh, no, no, you are, you are becoming a bit too comfortable when you say that you go and lecture lawyers and electoral commission people. You are, that's what I'm saying, that you are, be, you are, you are beginning to... Oh, no, but just, just go on. Yeah, a career out. Look, let's, let's face it. He can go to court any day, any, 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 any night, and the laws will be interpreted uh, in, by people who can do that. If the ECC, What's your understanding of the my, ruling? My understanding is that the lawyers that work with the electoral commission find it uh, um, untenable to just delete people's uh, names and other things. And they are saying that they're not going to delete them. And I'm saying that, fine, if he thinks that that is not what the, the judgment is, Fine, he, he should he should go but to court. But said delete. The yeah. electoral commission says yeah. it will yeah. delete. So whichever on Saturday is meeting and retreat. Uh, but to delete. but uh, you see, when 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 you be begin to politicize everything, for instance, he says that judicial workers are on strike, and the president is not interested in paying them, so that he's not in it's not in his interest. For God's sake, I mean, we've moved on from things like so that. So he should the judicial, pay them. I mean, the, 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 the workers of Ghana don't get paid because of we're your talking, pockets. We're, they get paid because we're, we're they talking uh, the ruling and yes. what uh, he and his legal team's intentions are. Yeah, but you, saw, you heard him saying that the president have no intention of paying judicial workers because so, so it's so not in his interest. Okay. And I'm saying that the president doesn't pay judicial workers, pay government workers based on his court case. They've been there and they will, they will be paid. So, that, 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 made. That, so I think that... He can go on and go to court every day, but I believe that the laws of this country are supreme. As much as people have the right to seek redress or interpretation of the law, we uh, accept that. And whatever the law says, if, what if, what the, if the Supreme Court says that they should delete all the names, that is what, uh, uh, the law. But he should also realize that the Supreme Court is a bit constrained in, in the sense that they can't effectively actually take over the job of other arms of government which are supposed to be uh, uh, independent as well. So they are always careful not to cross that boundary. So, but if he and his lawyers also don't understand that, then let, let's, let's have a situation mm. where... Abu, uh, yes. uh, to delete names um, in line with what the rules or the laws are, what does it mean? <laughs> you, you know? Okay. Exist existingly, if you want to delete names, uh, they, they, there's a procedure mm -hmm. in law. Yes. But you're saying that the ruling of the Supreme Court is different. That's straight that we're going to delete. The ruling says that go and delete in line with the laws yes. of the land, right? Yes. So, 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 so you're saying all that, other laws. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so we have laws that guide the, the electoral line. commission as to how to delete yeah, names. So, so before the, the court made, you see, when, that's why I say when you, when you pick aspects of the ruling, and you decide you want to do do justice to it. You can never do justice unless you understand the whole rule. The, 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 the court admits the autonomy of the electoral commission to start with. The court spent over 15 minutes elaborating on the autonomy of the commission, expanded it even further to give the parameters through which the autonomy of the commission works. 
And the court was clear that they can't tell the commission how to run its day-to-day -day activity. The court was clear that I can't dictate to the commission how to go about its day-to-day -day activity. But when the court says, go and write a letter in ink and bring to the court by this date, then you go home or you go to your office and you don't have a pen. The order of the court says, go and write in ink. You don't have a pen. You will fold your arms and wait till the date and go to court and tell the court that, oh, you told me to write a letter, but I didn't have a pen, so I couldn't write it. I'm here. <laughs> it it beholds on you to take steps to look for a pen, to buy the pen or acquire one by borrowing, to write that letter and send to the to the court. So in effect, the court says, the Electoral Commission cannot undertake any activity without legislation. So the commission should be guided by that. That there is no activity of the commission that can be undertaken without legislation. And for that matter, every activity of the commission must be undertaken with legislation. Now, the, com the Electoral Commission says, currently, on our status, CI-91, there is no legislation that deals with deletion of names that is similar to what the Supreme Court is talking about. That's why it's an order of the court. And it beholds on the commission to put the legislation forward so that it will make the, the, the carrying out of the orders of the court legal. I, 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 I hope you understand. Yeah, I get you perfectly. So, I understand. So, so if the commission... We've been discussing this for the last how many days? Yeah, so if the commission decides mm -hmm. that because there are no laws, I'm not going to take any initiative. It, if it was, it was my constitutional mandate... Did the ruling specifically state that... I know the ruling states that it needs to do it with legislation. legislation. I know. Mm -hmm. But did it say it should go and... Oh, when the court says, I've ordered you to do it. Yes, I've right, ordered you to do it. So the court is telling you that if there are no legislation, put in legislation and do it. No, your interpretation... No, no I'm saying that indirectly. Says indirectly. So, so, indirectly. So, so your, from, the, from your position, you know that the Electoral Commission can better do that with a new legislation. Mm -hmm. Pre no, precisely. No, no. So you want the Electoral Commission? No, to no. Go it's not about me. Re I say when you go to the ruling, I think I think natural natural justice or no, because no. because if today the Electoral Commission the, there's a court case and the court says seventh December, it's unconstitutional for one to vote on the seventh of December. Assuming, then the commission says okay because there's no law that says that. You can't vote on 7 December, so I've thrown my hands in despair. We'll never have an election. Yeah, it's never the same scenario, is it? No, I'm, I'm giving an example. Yes, to say that true. if it happens that way, it, the it commission it will can't be forced. Happen. It shouldn't no, happen. I'm saying the commission will be forced to put in legislation to change the date. To make to, to, to set a new legal date for, for catching. You and votes. your legal team and those who 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 think like the way the you millions. Do. The millions who think okay, like the millions who think yeah. like the way you do. Um, why would you want the Electoral Commission to now go and push for new legislation when in, in law, existently, there's already a legislation that guides the Electoral Commission has to delete names? Well, perhaps not uh, national health insurance card holders, but who, if, you're, if, if, if you're, you are in the register and you are in the register wrongly, how your name should be deleted is already there. Why do you need a, a new law which specifically I would deal with only no, national I, health insurance I, I know where card you want holders. to go. I know where you want to go. Look, the Electoral Commission's prescription of solution to this problem, to say that it will limit it to the, to the challenge process and the tribunal. Please, excuse me. The highest court of the land, the Supreme Court, gives a directive. But that's the law. No, I'm coming. Gives a directive. Yes. And you want to limit the powers of... That but, directive the, but the highest court the, of the land also that said that why, it needs to be done with due process. That is That's why the Electoral the Commission is. must That's put the in legislation to correct that. It didn't say that do, put in no, a new legislation. Compel, the ruling, you can't compare the ruling, that to put in a legislation. The, 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 the ruling didn't say that go and put in a new legislation, did it? It says you have to do it with law. Yes, yeah, sure. We do understand okay. you have okay. to do it with law. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do understand you have to do it with law. Precisely. Uh -huh. And I'm saying that uh -huh. if today uh -huh. the Electoral Commission says there is no law, now, the, the ruling of the Supreme Court. There's law. You are limiting it. No, you are, there's no law for, me, for them to follow in deleting names of NHIS cardholders. But we'll limit the powers of that deletion to, to a tribunal, which is the lowest court of this land. The lowest court. <laughs> when the highest court of the land has spoken, 
Then I asked myself, what are the lawyers, the four lawyers on the commission doing to, to, to our legal system? No, you the see? seven commissioners. No, the four lawyers. Yeah, among the lawyers let's, but let's, they don't serve as lawyers let's, for the let's assume yeah. that. Let's assume that uh, Abu and his lawyers have their own interpretation. And let's assume that. No, no, don't assume. That's the situation. We've got no, 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 the no. commission. No, you have can't, a similar. You, you see, they you see? have one interpretation. Yes. And it looks as if we are also on another side with our own interpretation. Yes, that's what I'm because saying. Because the EC could interpret on to let us see this. Let's assume yeah. that your interpretation of what the Supreme Court said mm -hmm. is that they should go and maybe make new legislation and then use it. And let's assume that the EC, mm -hmm. that is mandated by law mm -hmm. to run elections in, in this country and even delete names of people have got their own interpretation. Mm -hmm. So let, if you want to go to court, let's go to court. Mm -hmm. You can go back to court. Let the court be more explicit about it. But you see, you made reference to people who died and minors. It's, 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 it's common sense that when somebody dies and then it's part of the legislation that when people pass on during, uh, before the preparation of the, the new register, their names are taken out. The, the, the law explicitly provides for that. Mm -hmm. And if you think that Togolese if you think we've that no minus, we've no reason hold on, believe. hold on. I mean, if you think it's not, it's you not, mean you mean foreigners, no, 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 no. foreigners or whatever in the context. Why have we mentioned foreigners? You see, in this why don't you just allow you me to limit speak? yourself to the? Why? No, 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 let you no, no, but no, 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 exhibited and say that you know all these people registered with uh, uh, NHIS uh, card and get their names. Oh, of course, you could, you could have done that, couldn't you? But because you said there were people in there. What do, if, you, do you know what form hold of identification on. I use? Hold on. I don't even know what form I, I use for the reason. You don't know. It's because hold, you don't want to say. Hold on. Hold on. Because a colleague right now admitted that he's a health insurance. Well, he uses health insurance uh, in the The MP for lower me. You see? He says he uses health insurance. So he himself is an illegal register without the no, register. No, no. You see? You see? But the, but the ruling you is see? illegal. Abu? Abu? Oh, but you don't want to make... Since you've you forgotten yours, where, where, how do you remember where, mine? Where, to go and challenge it? Aha. Uh -huh. If so, you have forgotten so, your see, own form of identification, how do you remember another to go and challenge Abu? Abu, let Abu. us be honest with ourselves. Abu. Let's be honest Abu. with ourselves. I can be disruptive. No, I'm not being disruptive. You are. We are having Abu. a reaction. Abu, it's you okay. Are. Just let him land. I can then. heckle, I can then, heckle okay. you as Borrow much as possible. So I don't heckle. I, I don't am talk. saying that. Let me I am saying that you when are you are the one alleging that there are these people there, you should have the evidence. What mm -hmm. if the EC says, I don't know the people who, who are on, on the register well, like that? Is that a rhetorical question? Oh, you, you understand? So it is okay for you to go to court. But I'm just saying that it is a complete waste of every. All, all the registrants, right? Yes. Okay. So they should know who registered with what and what, unless it says it what? has it has so far uh, indicated to the court that it doesn't have those materials. No, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, well, I'm saying that that was two 2012, 2014. Thereabout, there was another uh, 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 exercise, and uh, well, I'm just saying that whatever the court says, I am more confident in the interpretation. Of the electoral so, so you are saying they should go? Of course, let okay. them go to court. So you are saying you are going when? Let us know. So we, <laughs> we close the matter. No, no, no. no, I, be, I, be, no, no I need to help Honorable understand that the Electoral Commission mm. in open court told the you court see, that when he, you go up this place, he's, he's, enjoy, he's, he's enjoying no, the easy man. No. I am here to talk about No, you want to talk about the yeah, call, 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 yeah, I'm coming. as well. So. I'm coming, you'll talk about it. Yeah. But I'm saying that. The EC in open court told the court, the, the seven member panel, that my, my loss, when you go on my database, you can't find who uses health insurance or who uses driver's, driver's license. But when you go on the primary document, which is the form 1A, we can, we can identify, and the court asks them, can you identify? They say, yes, my loss. Which is the hard paper. Yeah, the hard paper. And, the judge, and the judge, one of the judges of That's the court, how many? How many? How many? One of the judges of how the many court of them? How many 40 of million applications. Are we going to go through 40 million applications? And they say, yes, my lord. That was the response of the electoral commission. Yes, and that so some of those forms are in other clue as we speak. Uh -huh. Thank you. So, so, so if you are compelling them to delete it immediately, so you are not being realistic in the first place. Oh, are you serious? Of course. Really? Because you are saying uh -huh. that they have it in hard copy. Okay, you let's proceed. All right. Since you A report by the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament has revealed that the construction of the Achimota of Anko Highway, <laughs> estimated to cost the Ghanaian taxpayer an amount of 40.4 million had shot up to 120 million, representing an increase of 217% uh, blown. Yes. Uh, when, did, when did it begin? Well, in 2006, government uh, decided to solve a problem we all have, going to Kumasi. You are a civil engineer by profession? I'm, a, I'm an architect. Okay. Uh, I think that problem, I mean, it's not even completely solved now. 
I don't have a problem with the decision to solve that problem because it's important. In fact, it's part of what we used to call Gang of Four, Gang of Six, yeah. because it was uh, under GOG yeah. funding yeah. and the money was it. It turned out that the, when the project was being prepared, there was, they didn't have enough time. So they basically went to site and say, let's go to work. Before even they went and went through the procurement process, if you read the report, the report says that, for instance, they flouted the PPA, Public Procurement Acts. They didn't follow any due process. And when they were putting the project together, they put in things that were of no relevance to the construction of road, putting in a top of the range in BMW. In 206. B in 206. Really? Yes. It ah. top, of, top of the range BMW for the minister to go and do road inspection. I ask myself, I mean, these people know what they were doing. It, I cannot get my head around why anybody, a minister or even a president needs, a, a, I mean, a top of the range BMW to go and do project inspection. But it was all added to the cost of the project. And when they started the project, the thing started happening to the extent that the project went up to 128 million uh, uh, a Ghana city. You see, there's a le very good lesson in here for politicians. Nana Akufuado, every single oh, time. Master, Master, before on. you go there. Oh, yeah. How, come, how, how did the <laughs> cost of the project increase 120? It, it increased because of the incompetence, first of all, of oh. those who put the project together. Master. Including, <laughs> in, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, the reason I ask this is this. We all knew when even a project was conceived, brought to parliament, taken through committee, brought to the plenary, and every detail was there. I'm talking about the, uh, the how do you call it, um, the casual uh, uh, interchange. How did the project get to 100? Yeah, I'm telling you. They got because they didn't do what we did by making sure that the project was well conceived, brought the under, under <laughs> control, and went through the procurement process, process. I am still shocked as I'm here that I've never heard Baumian or Nana Kufado comment on this gigantuan waste of public, public funds. And the reason is this. If you read through some of the uh, uh, line uh, items, it is quite obvious. If you say you are going to do seven, 70, uh, 750 meters uh, worth of a uh, reinforced uh, 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 retaining wall, and you went and did 12,000 meters, of course, it will change the cost of uh, the. So the, you're the, saying the, even the quantities of the estimations and so as well? It is, it is not unusual. The reason, uh, it, look, let's be here. If there's a problem here at the Joy FM, maybe uh, unfortunately a portion gets bent down. It, it, uh, the studio here, so which is a, no, a, a no lot. Use this place Hold on, that. I'm just giving. A, yeah. a, in, in terms of emergency, you need to run a project tomorrow. You can decide that. Let's go to MD. Let's go and do a, a prepared document. Let's prepare uh, invite contra contractors, and you can do something that uh, we know somebody who is in com uh, who is competent. Can you come and start? All this you are saying, saying in simple language for me. Why did the cost of the project go up? It's because they it's didn't because it is because of the incompetence of the people who put the project together, especially. Especially. They didn't get their acts right. They didn't get their acts right. And I'm saying that if this happened in 2006, it's shocking that till today, Nana Kufuado hasn't got the time to talk about how incompetent in 2006 his government was. However, he had got a gut to talk about a project that was well conceived, brought to parliament committee, brought to plenary, and was, uh, was passed. He still got a problem with that one when he can see that every city is being accounted for. In fact, Kaswa Interchange will not go over budget with $1. But they, he sat in cabinet when they did this. And I'm saying that this is the, the measure by which he is going to be judged as to whether he's competent or not. And that is why when they call somebody incompetent, this is a reflection of their incompetence. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, I'm, just, I'm just excited with Honorable uh, oratory, you know. It is, it is, but you see, it's unfortunate Honorable has just forgotten. What do you make of this? Yeah, no, I'm coming to it. That, that is what I'm going to address. You see? This project took six and a half years to be completed. It's not even complete. Sections are still under construction. Okay. So that's, even, that's even increasing cost. Uh, so, that, that, so six and a half, Joe, I'll say it is taking 10 years to complete. Because if you say it's still not completed, since 2006 till now, it's 10 years. Not so. Out of that, the government you sit here to malign and accuse of incompetence did two years of it. The rest of the eight years, you supervised it. You, your government, supervised it. You remember Joe Gidisu? Is it Joe Gidisu or... Uh, the, Joe Gidisu. Joe Gidisu. Joe Gidisu. Gidisu. Don't be mischievous. No, no. <laughs> Do you remember his, his BMW? When, when they bought a luxury BMW and gave to the minister... No, it was part of the initial... That's what I'm saying, that 
It was an MPP minister who drove that BMW. He's no, forgotten he that. Drove. No, he, he didn't no, drive uh, it. Please, please. Thank he sent it back. He, yeah, please. He took it to the site. That's how come he was exposed. No, no, no. Please, no. sir. Oh, don't do this. I remember this thing very well, as if it was yesterday. Oh. He drove it to the site. That's why he was exposed. People took pictures of him. I'm saying you you forgot to. So you you think, were worried about the guy who drove the car than the people who actually wrongly bought the car. Which one is your problem? So so you uh -huh. that claims a moral high ground. Uh -huh. When you came, when because you are not corrupt, when you came and saw that in the contract, there was a portrait for the vehicle. <laughs> Why didn't you? I have to win. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't I'm my guest for you the morning, Abu Ramadan. Don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> How are you doing? Don't do that to yourself. This will um, be the most expensive. You'll be going to call. What's the time in a Moko court? Ah, Dami Aduma. You're a church user. You're a church user. They should pay them. And then also we have Kwame Agboja. Honorable Kwame Agboja is a member of parliament for Adaklu. Thanks for joining me, sir. Thank you. All right. So we're taking a break. When we come back, we have entertainment. Thank you.